necessary, but like I said last week, man, I mean, you put whatever movement in front of you, fem- in front of me, feminist, uh, LGBTQ, LGBTQ, uh, whatever. And as far as I'm concerned, yeah, that's cool, you know, but uh, you don't come to me for uh, major support because I'm still on the I'm still on the original sin movement. Mm. They're trying to get that resolved. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Really it's just, that. Yeah, it's like, you know, I, I'm down with you. I'm not saying that because, and the reason is, is because all that stuff is necessary, man. I'm going to tell you, I didn't tell you guys last week, but my sister worked for a credit union for, I don't know, shy of 20 years. Let's just mm-hmm. say, no, nah, no, nah, maybe 20 years, right? Okay. And she was number two. She's a COO, number two. And it was time for number one to pick his replacement. Mm-hmm. And the the good old boy, the number one's a good old boy. The good mm-hmm. old boy that got picked was a guy that she hired and promoted up to the ranks over mm-hmm. the years that was still serving under her. But unbeknownst to her or through the rumor mill, He's vacationing with the number one, him and his family vacationing, you know, on the co- on company t- on the company dying, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And all this stuff is going on. And, and they called her in the office, and this is something we can relate to in some way or another, and gave her the, the old political, oh, you know, it's been a rough week for me. You know, I've had tough decisions and this and that and so on and so forth. And my sis had to bounce up out of there because, you know, Mm. it was just, there was, I mean, she had to, she didn't lose face at all. Straight political, uh, asked somebody for their headhunter. And the person that she asked was like, headhunter, shit, can can my number one talk to you? (laughs) 